And as Tracy reported, this return plan would only apply to elementary school students at first, but a number of families who have older children in the Chesterfield school system tell CBS 6 they want to see those middle and high school students back in the class as soon as possible, too. And new data confirms they are the ones who have struggled the most this school year. Problem solver Laura French breaks down numbers and talks to a family who says virtual learning has failed their children. 12 year old Jackson Klein. I'm not very organized. Is trying to get back on track. The amount of work I get in math is a lot kind of stressful. This weekly meeting with his guidance counselor comes. The reason I have like a lower grade is because of the Alex. After the honor roll student failed part of the first quarter of his seventh grade year at Tomahawk Creek Middle School. One room over. So well, let me know when you're when you're on and then I'll call you next, okay? His fifth grade sister, Anna, who's dyslexic. Wow, they don't give you much time to let it respond, do they? Is struggling through virtual fifth grade at Old Hundred Elementary. I mean, I usually am like an AB student and I've always tried hard, except now when I try hard and I'm trying harder than I have ever, I still am failing more than I had before. So I don't like, I get that it's because like we are on virtual, except it's really like upsetting because I don't know what's wrong. And when Anna's mom, Emily, looked at her first quarter report card, she didn't know either. We had three Fs and a D. But when I got the report card, it had NAs for every single class. They are not failing. They're being failed. And it's really hard to watch. It's like being in an abusive relationship. My kids, I know it's not good for them. I know it's not. But I have to go to work and leave them here every day and then encourage them to continue to go to school virtually. Um, despite the fact that I see the mental anguish they're going through. Under the Freedom of Information Act, CBS 6 has learned Anna and Jackson aren't alone. In Chesterfield County, one in six high schoolers failed two or more classes in the first quarter of this year compared to last year, which is almost double the students. One in eight middle schoolers, which is more than double the children compared to last year. And one in 60 elementary age kids, which is virtually unchanged compared to 2019. If you look at the data there, nothing needs to change with elementary school. But I am one person that can say, they didn't report my data. They just put it under the rug. It's been really difficult because we don't actually get to like, go to school, so I used a lot of seeing my, what my peers are doing, and if they are struggling on it, and I am too, I get that boost that I'm not the only one struggling, but now I'm not with everybody, so I don't see if I'm not the only one struggling. Our, our children have suffered uh, from COVID-19, uh, as have our families. And one of the things that we certainly are, are entertaining is, is looking at uh, perhaps a year-round year schooling uh, for the next year, perhaps adding uh, increased days uh, this summer to really help our kids get caught up. But Emily says putting pressure on her kids to catch up in this virtual environment. So seven and a half hours of school, I think I, did, I, think I should be able to play outside isn't worth the risk she fears of losing them we know what they're capable of and so we want to see that same success so we push um, and I saw the mental toll it was taking on them and then we lost a classmate my son lost someone he's been in school with um, since kindergarten to suicide and that's when I said enough's enough this is not worth it. Going to school virtually and sitting alone, isolated, and still not feeling supported or successful is not worth any child's life. If Chesterfield County Schools are watching tonight, what would your message to them be? My message would to be to open up this conversation. Teachers are struggling. Parents are struggling, families, students are struggling, and it is 
their responsibility to own up to the failure. It's not their fault. I never expected them to hit it out of the park the first time. I do expect us to utilize the data and make a change. I do expect for anybody to say when they were wrong. We expect that out of our kids. What kind of example is that setting? Yes, yeah. Chesterfield owes it to the kids to say that they're failing um, because otherwise they're putting their lives at risk. Under the Freedom of Information Act, CBS 6 has requested the same grade comparison data from surrounding districts. The Virginia Department of Education said the state superintendent briefed local school leaders on forthcoming guidance on reopening last week. We're told it's expected to reflect the growing body of research supporting the safety of in-person instruction with mitigation measures. Working for you, Laura French, CBS 6 News.